Two students from Kealakehi High School on the Big Island were rushed to the hospital today. Police say both of them ate brownies that contained marijuana. One of the kids passed out, was said to be shaking violently. Alexander Zanes with more on our top story. At last check, one Kealakehe student had been released from the hospital and another was under observation. The reason? Both students ate brownies police say contained marijuana. At least one of the students passed out, experiencing convulsions and an elevated heart rate. Uh, well, I have a lot of concerns. Uh, when people take edibles, edible marijuana, it's very hard to know what the strength is going to be. And so a lot of times uh, it gets in the hands of a teen who's still got a developing neurologic system. It can really have a big impact on them. After investigating, police found another student they say sold the brownies to the two girls. When that student was searched, officials found more brownies in his backpack. A second student also had a brownie with marijuana in his backpack as well. The two students were taken to the police station. State Senator and ER Dr. Josh Green says when prescribed by a doctor, marijuana can be used to treat a variety of medical conditions. But in this case, Green says the teens who bought the brownies were putting themselves in danger. So you can get a double whammy. You don't know what you're buying, which I don't want to see teens ever buying, but you don't know what you're getting. And then you also don't know what the concentration is. So in this circumstance, it can cause respiratory depression, it can cause tachycardia, which is high heart rate, or it can cause even a seizure. It's the scary stuff, Alex. Do we know about the kids, the penalties that the students might be facing, the ones responsible for the uh, bringing and the selling of the brownies? Well, Howard, we do know that selling any kind of drug at school is a Class A offense similar to assault or burglary. No word yet on the punishment for the students, but I'll continue to follow up and see what I can find out. Howard?